Hello everyone and welcome to my backyard. This is my wooden deck and as you can see, yes, it needs some fixing up. This is my herb garden which looks pretty sad and unorganized. And over here at my sitting area, my chairs, you can't even sit in them anymore. They're <laughs> torn and worn down, but that's okay because I'm going to fix these up. And over here at my table, this table looks so disgusting. Nobody wants to sit at it and eat at it. The glass is so dirty, no matter how much I clean it with Windex, there's still a lot of stains and debris stuck to it. So I'm going to fix this up nicely as well. And here are the lights that I hung up about a year or two ago. I also did a video on how I installed these lights for very cheap. If you want to click on the link at top, you can watch how I did that. And you know what, let's just get to fixing this place up already. I purchased this steel pergola off of Walmart's website for only $310 and my niece came over to help me and my son put it together and between the three of us we were able to get this pergola up in the matter of a couple of hours. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel because you're going to love everything you see in this video and I have more to come and go ahead and like this video as well while you're at it. My wooden deck was looking pretty rough. It had a lot of mildew stains and scratches from my dog running all over it. So I thought I'll go ahead and stain it. Now, most people would stain it first before they put a pergola up, but I'm not most people. So yes, I tend to do things backwards, but that's okay, it works out for me. If you wanna watch the video on how I stain this wooden deck, just click on this link up top. I found this gorgeous round day bed online for only $380. And since then, I seen that I lucked out because the price has gone up. A couple of years ago, I bought these lights to hang up outside. However, they're too heavy to hang by themselves. They need some serious support. So they've been sitting in my attic ever since then. But I'm gonna put them on my pergola now using zip ties. One zip tie by itself is not long enough to go around the pergola. So I got the idea to put two zip ties together and I'm gonna hang the lights up like this. To hang curtains around my pergola, I came up with the system using cup hooks, a thimble clip set, and some plastic covered galvanized wire. Now I spray painted some of these items with this appliance epoxy in black, so it kind of blends in with the pergola better. I've done this before in showing you how I use a thimble clip set to hang up outside curtains. I did this before in my front porch makeover video. That video became very popular, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys again. And then you just take the loop and you just string it through the curtains. And these are the curtains that I'm gonna use. I got a good deal, I found these on Amazon. Eight curtain panels for only $40.
I'm going for a whimsical garden look for my outside decor so I wanted to dress up my pergola a little bit so I purchased this fake ivy garland off of Amazon for like five dollars and they give you 12 strands and here I am just pulling it apart like you do a pack of braiding hair some of y'all might know what I'm talking about and I'm just going to secure it to the pergola with the lights and the zip ties that I already put on it I found this at a local flea market for only $5 and I thought this was an interesting piece. I just added some leftover moss to it and these metal butterflies which I've bought years ago from Dollar Tree. They used to be garden stakes and I just cut the stand off of them. And then I still thought it needed a little pop of color so I got some leftover yellow paint and kind of gave it a distressed look at the bottom. My patio furniture has some areas where the paint chipped off, so I use this Rust-Oleum metal um, spray paint to give it a fresh coat. These are the items that I used to tile my tabletop. Yes, that's exactly what I said. I tiled my tabletop. I glued the tiles to the table. Now these are peel and stick tiles and I made sure to space the tiles using a 1 8 inch spacers. After I let that dry overnight, then the next day I used a box cutter to cut away any tile that I didn't need and I just shaped out my table. And then I mixed together my grout. Now look, I wanted black grout, but I only had gray. So I went on ahead and I mixed this black dye in with the grout. Now I know there's a more professional way of going about this, but I was tired of going to the stores at this point. So I decided to work with what I already had. And honestly, it really didn't turn out bad at all. Now my subscribers have seen me tile a floor before. I'm using the exact same method. After I take the spacers off, I'm just working the grout into the lines using the float and then I wash it away with the wet sponge. For my patio saucer chairs, I did a separate video showing you how I got it from looking like this to this. So you could click on the link above to watch it. To go with my whimsical look, I took my planter bed and I decided to make like an edible fairy garden with it, but with no fairies. So I brought these items from Dollar Tree and then I arranged my herbs and I have my parsley here, my green onions my basil and I got them set up looking like trees and there's my rosemary and my mint. I had to put them on my trellis because those can grow out of control. And I took apart some clothespins and I glued them together and made a little fence out of them. And I took some popsicle sticks and I glued them together and I made a little gated garden. And the other items are leftover Dollar Tree items that I had laying around the house. Some blue gems, some white rocks, some wood pieces, and a little bit of moss. And I just put them all together. Mm -hmm. 
And in case you were wondering, I use this leftover plunger suction cup from a previous project that I did to create this little hill. And for those of you that know my work, you know I like to stick a cute little owl figurine wherever I can. Oh, I just love them. My plants were looking a little rough here, so I repurposed these flower hanging baskets from Dollar Tree and Hooks. And I paired them with this $5 solar light that I got from Walmart. And I hooked them onto this wooden post that was sitting in the middle of my deck and I made a plant stand. The wooden post was still missing something, so I got these three signs from Dollar Tree and I painted them black and I sealed them with some polyclearic since they were going to be outside. I wanted them to be waterproof and I just wrote some signage on them and nailed it to the post. I got these two outdoor mats from Ross, only $8 each. I needed something very durable for my dog so he doesn't scratch up my wooden deck. And I wanted to give him a pop of color so I used this leftover brown paint to paint over it. And I used these items in a leftover glass jar and I made a table tiki torch. These are Dollar Tree items that I spray painted so that they can match the decor and I drilled some holes through the pizza pan and I attached the chains to the holes so that now I can have a place to hang up my Bluetooth speaker for when I'm outside listening to music. If you watch my dining room makeover video then you will probably recognize this rug being in my dining room. I thought it was more appropriate outside. And now I'm just getting everything ready so I can show you the final reveal. These signs are a hint to some future projects that I have to show you. Well, it is getting dark, so let me show you what this looks like at night. The illumination is so beautiful and relaxing. Well, you can see what I'm about to get into, so I'm gonna sit here and relax and I'm gonna let you finish watching this video. And thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys next time. Crafty Queen out.